Hello everyone, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Let's get right back in here. So, I... Crap, what were we doing last time? I, I know we ended the trial, but... I... Not rem... Oh wait, no, I think we were going to... The island or something? Well, let me talk to these two first. Oh yeah, the new island, okay. That's what happened. So we have uh, more to explore now. Also, if I remember correctly, Nagito is missing? I don't remember. Anyway. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues, too. Aww. Eh? You can't. You promised you'd tie my kimono sash. Hey. That was... We can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> you should... Yeah, yeah, you should help her take a bath. That's kind of nasty. But if I don't hurry and go take a bath... They'll call me smelly again. They're gonna bully me again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then let's take a light shower first. What does a light shower mean? A shower's just a shower. We're gonna go wash each other. Uh, okay. Uh, wash each other? H hold on, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in too. No, now we're both girls, so there's no need to be shy. Oh dear. Hiyoko pulled Nohiru's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed towards the cottages. Wash each other? I-I-I uh, see. <laughs> Washing each other, huh? <laughs> very well. Uh... Well... I-I know that we could, uh... We could go check out the new island, but, uh... Can we- can we go see, you know... Can we go just take a look? Maybe? Look through the window? Uh, whose house is it? Uh, let me open up the... Which one's the map? This one? No, it's, it's sorry, it's been a minute since I played. Uh, my hero's down there, and Hyoko's... Hyoko's also down here. I believe that's my hero. It's kind of generic. Yep, it's her. God damn it. Uh, disappointment. Maybe a Hyoko's? Uh, maybe? Yeah, just a little bit of hope? I mean, you know, if I can, I can. Why not? Damn it. Okay, fine. Ruin all the fun. <sighs> Disappointment. So I need to go to the new island. That was a loud creak. Was that creak there before? Okay. What, what, wrong thing. Okay. Let us check our pet first. It's been a long time. Yeah, let's clean up that shit. A thousand steps till next growth. That's gonna be weird. Like, whatever it turns into, it's gonna be weird. So, do those count as steps, anyway? One second. 969. Yeah, wash. Uh, sad, I can't see that. Those don't count as steps. Okay. Anyway, it was two to the left. I think it was to the left. Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, let's go check it out. I guess. She's right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monomi was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? All right. I guess I should find out. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see. Wow. So this is the new island. Yeah, look at that thing, dude. Holy crap. That's... That's pretty crazy. <laughs> wow. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Yeah, this looks more... This looks more like a resort, honestly. This is like a high-class resort here. Holy crap. Well, now's not the time for me to be... Uh, to make carefree observations. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it. I doubt there's gonna be a clue. I wonder if they're gonna do, uh, in the first game they had, uh, every time you, like, unlocked a new area, you'd find a picture of the past, that sort of thing. So I'm wondering if they'll do that here. Okay, I'm on the second island now. So I'm gonna take it slow and walk a bit, get some pet levels, and find the best guy here. Look at him. Look at this fabulous monster. Alright, what are you doing here? It's nearly showtime! Is it? 
Also, I, I like the way he finished up Showtime. Uh, that was, yeah, that voice actor is awesome. You're too late. The seal has already been broken. Seal? Is he talking about the bridge? Whatever. It's not like I really care. R really? That's all you have to say? You're just like, yeah, it's Gundam. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much... Anything else? Is that it? It's nearly sh well, that's a little depressing. Wow, this is th actually looks like a city now. Oh god, the pig. <laughs> that is, uh, that's a pose. Man, this diner looks kind of dirty. I don't know if it's just from the angle I'm looking at it. Looks kind of like old school diner. But I'm actually kind of excited to look in here now. It looks kind of interesting. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's definitely not dirty. Holy crap. Man, look at the... <laughs> the signboard says diner. It also has a pig trying to seduce you. I guess I should try going inside. Oh, I don't even get to look at the pig sign? Oh, whatever. What is going on in here? Wow, look at this place. This is old school. This is cool. Huh? That looks like... Huh? Oh, it's you. Dumbass. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass. Fuyuhiko suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. Hold on. Why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant. Why does he know about the new island? Oh, don't actually know. I want to look around. I was going to say I wanted to look around here, but... Apparently not. There... Is there a Monokuma in here? Somewhere? Maybe? I'd like to find... Uh, it actually be kind of hard to see in here. I don't know. Oh, oh, that would be an amazing spot for a Monokuma. Right here. That would be awesome. Uh, oh, too well. Or, too bad. Yeah. Okay, looks like we can only talk to Fuyuhiko. Is that, that, that's really it. Okay. Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? Hmm. Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating. Jeez. An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person? Then I found this place. And now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy now? So get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey. How about that annoying person? Nothing to do with you. Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have something to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We have to work together. You should know that by now, too. So... Why are you avoiding us? <laughs> I'm not avoiding you bastards. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone? That includes the Kazuryu clan. I, I still can't pronounce that. Kazuryu uh, clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't, misunderstand. Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I want to... I want to head... I don't want to head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it on my own without relying on my clan. Huh. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister. Shut the hell up! Sh shut up! Why'd you let me bring that up anyway? You brought that up yourself. Anyway. I don't intend to spend any time with any of you get or spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it. Hmm. Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will only shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Yakia and Teratero, are proof of that. Hmm. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You're still saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here, if it guarantees my survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. Man. Still don't- like, I still don't know how I feel about Fuyuhiko. You can go either way for me right now. If you're pissed off at me, you don't have to stick around. Get lost. Oh uh, no, I may I may spend I may end up spending some free time with him, just to learn a bit more about him. Seems like he might actually be interesting to hang out with. Can I actually look at the side? Yes. Okay, perfect. 
I want to know uh, Hajime's thoughts on this. The diner's signboard is spinning. A spinning restaurant signboard on an uninhabited island is kind of freaky. That's going into the diner. Something over here. Okay, that's to a beach. Uh, you know what, I'll check it out now because I'm probably going to forget to check it out. And walk around aimlessly if I don't go here now. What? A scream! The voice just now. Wasn't that a bookie? Oh dear. Uh, uh, pan oh god, I can walk! Oh, I'm not used to being able to walk! Oh no. Oh, wait, a bookie. What's going on? You look fine. Uh... Oh no, no. Ibuki, are you alright? What happened? Emergency! This is bad. I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to space my words. <laughs> okay, what's going on? The, the killing, the killing started again. Huh? Pointing! Pointing, over there. So I glanced over the beach where Ibuki was pointing her finger. Wait, what? Oh dear. A battle. Now this is, this is a true battle, wow. What? Oh god. Your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. What the heck is this? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win? Against me? That's quite absurd! Well then. Oh wow. That's quite a battle. Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? We're done for! The Kamara Nidai's ultimate move, Super Body Blow! Th that's instant death. If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best. Jeez. Akane, at your current power level, you can't even defeat a mere team manager. W what are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Huh? What? This isn't a fight. <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown. <laughs> that's even worse. The rules for the school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. Training! What violence? This isn't a real fight, we're training! But it looked like a real fight. Huh? I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. Training! We both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could fight. Uh, look at those muscles, man. You're huge, man. You're huge. You're like... Almost as big as Sakura from the first game. Even so, why the sudden interest in training? If I gotta admit it, sh she's alive? She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. He looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help it, but... I just couldn't help but get excited. I thought sparring would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. I see. Akane, seems like you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning and your timing. It's all half-assed. You're not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Basics. Make sure you understand the basics. You'll always be second-rate if you just rely on instinct. You. Damn it, shut up. If you understand what I just said, come see me. When the time comes, I'll fight you once more. Don't forget. You better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I'll show you my serious side. I won't give up until I beat you. With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. However... If she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous. Her hands are still numb. That or my hands. She's probably gonna get even stronger. Oh god, is this like is this turning into a shonen battle manga? Probably right. What kind of conversation is this? That was amazing. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah, cool. The more of the fight you struggle to get, that's what the battle lo being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? Oh. You too. The basics are foundation for everything. No, I get that, but... 
Training that resembles an actual fight might be fun, but just be careful not to get hurt, both of you. Impossible. Injuring an athlete would disgrace me as a team manager. Uh Wait, oh yeah, I can't press white it. Oh, hey, look at that! That's actually kind of adorable. Huh? Are you serious? Oh yeah, I need to go gamble! Uh Uh, that's yeah, it's gonna be a long long gamble session. I have a feeling it's one of the early ones So I'm gonna only be using one coin at a time and I have 150 coins. Okay. I can't go over here Gotta be careful looking for those monokumas. Those sneaky bastards could be anywhere uh, I can't look up into them bros, okay uh, Did I talk to Nekomaru? Oh wait, no, I did talk to Nekomaru, okay uh, let's go in here then. What's going on in the beach house? It's pretty fancy for a beach house, honestly. Most beach houses are like made out of wood or something. This is marble or something. Is that marble? Jeez. I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach, but it looks pretty luxurious. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house? Yeah, something like that. Holy crap. Man, there's a lot to look at here. Okay. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna look at the doors. Is that that's a closet? Okay, I guess I'll, I'll talk to Soda first. Yo. Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity pad or something? The shower is out of order, but the ambience is nice, and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus, the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome. Compared to the urban seas that are so full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're the, we're the only ones on this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, hey. Don't shatter my dreams like that. That's right. More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Whoa. Awesome. Totally awesome. Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. Sonia. I wonder if Miss Sonia would come, too. I want to see Miss Sonia in the bikini. It's here. Hey. Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? Oh, God. I Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. Ah, so you mean changing here isn't allowed? Not going to the beach itself? Then I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. You might let her down, though. Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Monokuma, that's... That's a bit heavy duty. Come on, man. What the hell? Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them. No questions asked. He's here. You, what are you holding? A machine gun, obviously? Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. It's common sense? Where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. <laughs> oh god, that loud. I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. Oh god. But Manobi, you might want to hide, because if he's going to shoot anything, you're, like, his most likely target. Uh, do you have to shoot something, or do you have to take a shit? Because, I mean, if you have shit problems, you could talk to Nekomoro about that. He, he had that for a little bit. I have an iron willpower, so I'll endure it, no matter the cost, until the day someone breaks the rules. Um... As you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Uh... Wow, that was totally bizarre, man. They're, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel tired all of a sudden. Yeah, that could have ruined the mood of the beach house. Oh, which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Huh? What? Well, it's about Nagito. Whoa. I haven't seen the guy all day. Do you know where he is? I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy-ass bastard? We need to search the island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How annoying. So let's just end all the annoying talk right here. That's it, all done. You know something, don't you? Yeah. He ended the conversation very forcibly, just as I thought. He's definitely hiding something. It's just a matter of finding out what he's hiding. Is he just gonna... Like I said, no more annoying talk. The end. We need to search the island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. Yeah, he's definitely hiding something. Anyway, there's a refrigerator here. What's in it? Looks like you got some teas. 
some juice. There's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. But most of these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? No, it's just like a hotel. If you take something out of the fridge, it's like $10 a bottle. Yes, l let us look at the bench. The most amazing looking bench in the world. Look at that. It's a fancy looking bench. It looks like something you'd see at a resort. Yeah, just just like everything else here. Oh, gee, man. It technically is a resort at this point. Looks like this is a, the closet. Uh, the inside is... Looks like a small storage room. Almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards arranged on the shelf, but I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. Well, at least we know he's not the ultimate surfer now. Then again, he'd be saying dude and bro a lot more if he was. Can I... Is there something else? Oh, I can look at a little bin down here. Trash can. This is a trash can, but I don't have anything I need to throw away. Yeah. I, I guess I'll just go spend Monokuma coins. But, like, when it says I have free time. I'll do some exploring for now. Okay, there's two doors we can go into. One has... Okay, one's the shower room. And one's the roadside door. Let's go in the shower room first. I don't know what the roadside... Oh, looks like this is the shower room. Okay, it's out of service. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. Okay, let's see where this takes us. This door leads to the road by the tunnel. Oh, so this is just leaving then. Okay, well, that takes care of that. And you two are still over there. Oh, well, that was interesting. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. I actually kind of like the diner area. It looks it looks nice. I like I like this sort of setting. It's pretty cool. It's not something you see too often, so I, I quite like this. I like the birds. No. Okay, that's everything? Yeah, that's everything. Looking to see if I spot any monokumas. Yeah, there's I'm not seeing any. Okay. Wait, second yeah, second island. Oops, I pressed that too fast because I was just expecting to say, like, do you want to leave? I guess it was asking me if I wanted to go to the beach. What's going on over here? Oh, there's a pharmacy. We get drugs. Already? Shit, man. That's... Jeez. Alright, let's go to the pharmacy. Well... I would say I'm surprised to see you here, but I'm not. I I'm really not. Just give me a minute to look for some Monokumas. Is that detergent? That is detergent. I can't even look at the pills. Oh no, I can't look at the pills. Over here. The shelves are crammed in with a lot of stuff that looks like medicine. Unlike the medicines I'm used to seeing, these ones look way more important. Yeah, they definitely do. Uh, you having some trouble, Mikan? What's with you? I I'm sorry, I got so excited I started shouting. I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before, people either hated me or were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. But more importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one here either. With all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. Those sound dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. <laughs> Would you like a shot already? Shoot? Shot? Or shot? The really long, winded shot? No, seriously, I'm fine. I have enough energy. Yeah. Let's let's not get any shots. I think it's dangerous to be here, Hajime. Oh, let's uh, let's go somewhere else. Uh, how often does this thing poop? Wait. Oh wait. No, I actually need to. Uh, wait. Can I? Wait. What? Is, what do giving presents do here? Uh, do I have any duplicates? I guess if I have duplicates, I'll give it a present. I I did I didn't even think about that. I'm kind of curious now. Yeah, what a what a wonderful present. A handkerchief for my pet. Obviously, my, my pet is that classy that it needs a handkerchief. Let's look at the details of this real quick. 
Uh, paper handkerchief used by upper class craftsmen. Yep. Obviously. Oh, okay. Hope meter up, despair meter down. Yeah, sure, let's see if we have any more duplicates. If I have duplicates, I'll do it. Yeah, sure, that seems pretty good. Sure. Not as good as the handkerchief, obviously. So that's just how you get rid of despair meter. Okay. Three of these? Yeah. I, I feel like that only goes to Chiaki anyway, so... Let's actually go get one more of those to get rid of that despair meter completely. I don't know, like, if the despair meter, like, changes, like, what type of pet it turns into. Uh, I don't, like, actually know how this works, so whatever. Let's just do this. There's two of those. I guess I'll just feed any repeats I get to, uh, my pet. Anyway, let's go in here. Holy crap, that is a library. And holy crap, that's a Monokuma. Wow, that's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Probably a library. This is definitely a library, and holy crap, is it fancy. Also, that little Monokuma statue. Are all these just going to have surfboards? I expected that one to have a book or something. I wonder if there's like multiple Monokumas in one area. Oh, it looks like, uh, that statue got fucked up. The bronze statue of Nomi, I guess, I mean, Usami, before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. That's pretty sad. This is a bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks so arrogant. What a lame, what lame taste. Okay. I can look at a bookshelf. Apparently that's like the only bookshelf I can look at. So I like, I walked all the way upstairs just to look at a bookshelf and ignored every other one. The books on the shelf, what language are they written in? If I don't know that, I don't even feel like forcing myself to read them. Okay, that's just that. That's another statue. There's another Monomi statue. A bronze statue of Monomi, I mean, there's something... Okay, that's the same thing. Okay. Uh, wait, I can look behind you, okay. What language are these books written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. Huh. Such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books, or maybe some sort of kind of philosophy? The newest issue of Occult Magazine! It breaks the lid of off underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. That That's quite a surprise. It, it, it is not like I read it often. I am just reading it because I, it has a special article about serial killers. That's not a good excuse at all. However, it seems this writer has a very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. Oh, that reference. Huh, that Genocide Jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard about her before. Most oh dear. Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She's very popular among the youth and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. Whoa. Apparently she's a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? <laughs> ah, this one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I shall explain it to you just in case. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who calls himself the Ally of Justice. Also, also. Oh god, she's getting way too pumped up. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. S Sonya, calm down. Amazing. Thanks to the, the mask Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real gender or age. After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What an expert, yes? Hey, you two. I've been listening for a while now, but... Why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. Please hold on, it is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. 
Serial killers, their value system is very different than the norm. What marvel- what a marvelous existence! I'm totes intrigued! Totes, oh dear. 